Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to use the developer tools built into Chrome to investigate the structure and contents of a web page. So this works for Chrome uh, and any Chrome based browser such as the new Microsoft Edge browser. What you need to do is load up the page you're interested in and then go to the three dots on the right hand side, go down to more tools and select developer tools. This will open up a new panel in Chrome either on the side or it might appear at the bottom of your screen as well. Now, as soon as you open up developer tools, you'll get to see all of the HTML that makes up the page. But in order to find out a little bit more quickly what's actually being used in the page, we can click on the selector tool. And with the selector tool selected, you can hover over different page elements and it tells you what they are. For example, here's the header and it's telling us it's an H1. It tells us the color that's being used and the font that's being used. We can also see down here we've got an H2 for the subtitle. And when we've got uh, body text, you can see that that is a P or paragraph element. Here's an image and so on. Now sometimes it's difficult to be exactly sure what we're looking at. If you look right now, it says that we're in a div, uh, which is a, a division of the page, which is like a container, and it actually contains inside it the paragraphs and the headings. So sometimes you can't be absolutely certain you're clicking on exactly the right things, but if we were to click on that, the div will be selected on the right hand side, and this is the article body. This is being used to separate the body of the article from all of the stuff around it. And we can expand this, and see exactly what it contains. And you'll see it contains lots of different elements. One of them is the paragraph that we were just uh, hovering over. Now, one of the coolest things you can do with developer tools is actually make some changes to the things you've selected. So if we selected this heading, we can see the HTML that makes it up here. And we can use this to have a bit of fun. It's supposed to be designed for prototyping and fixing pages, but let's, let's have a little play with it. Now, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but we're not actually making any changes to the real web page. These are just temporary changes being made in the browser. As soon as you refresh the page, this will all go back to normal. But it's a really fun little thing to do. But more importantly, um, this is a very, very good way of learning about HTML. Look at real websites and see how they're constructed. There will be a huge amount of stuff in there that doesn't seem to make any sense. And these are all things that are used by Google and Facebook and other services for tracking who's looking at what. And there'll be lots of JavaScript that makes things pop up and does other things like showing adverts. So the vast majority of what you look at will just seem like nonsense. But if you look around, you should find that around the middle of the page somewhere uh, will be fairly well organized content that is what's clearly making up the main part of the page. So that's developer tools in Chrome.